at this opening of the exhibition showcasing the works of the renowned architect Jeffrey Baba. Now, there are two kinds of people in the world, those who have been to Sri Lanka and those who will be going to Sri Lanka. I fortunately belong to the first category and as someone who's had an association with this country today for more than 30 years, uh, when I think of Sri Lanka, the names, the images, the associations, Jeffrey Baba is a figure that very naturally uh, comes to mind. Now, I'm very happy that this exhibition is being organized as part of the commemoration of the 75th anniversary of India-Sri Lanka diplomatic relations. Uh, and when the High Commissioner actually mentioned to me that this event would be taking place today, uh, I, I told him that even though Parliament is in session, I'm sure many of us will certainly uh, find the time uh, given the importance uh, of this occasion to be here. Now, Jeffrey Baba, to I think most of us, needs no introduction. He's the father of the tropical modernist movement. Uh, and like any other diplomat who's been to Sri Lanka, I think uh, the, the introduction for us uh, was to go and visit the parliament uh, building uh, in that country. And what we saw was something which was very simple but very revolutionary uh, and was of a, of a style and a manner which has actually inspired many others in our part of the world as well. And today, uh, I would say Jeffrey Baba's achievements are not just in Sri Lanka, not just in what he has done in India, but many others whom he has inspired and who have uh, paid tribute to him uh, through their own achievements. Uh, I am, of course, very confident that this exhibition today would uh, promote the already very close bonding between our two countries. Uh, and uh, even though we are two countries who are linked to societies who are linked over the millennia in a variety of ways, uh, in our languages, in our faiths, in our way of life, uh, in our mores and customs, uh, I believe that such exhibitions which promote more contemporary uh, understanding of each other's societies and appreciation of the iconic figures uh, in our countries is something that is particularly uh, important. Hi, Commissioner, you mentioned uh, some of the challenges that Sri Lanka currently faces. I can only say that it is very natural uh, for India to step forward at this time. In fact, uh, I think Mr. Kulatunge and I were talking about it and I reminded him of the saying that blood is thicker than water, uh, even though that saying came from some other part uh, of the global geography. But uh, for us, it was natural uh, at a moment of difficulty that uh, we should see what we could do uh, within our resources, within our capabilities, within our efforts to stand by Sri Lanka at this very difficult time. Uh, I have always believed, and I've said so both in Colombo and on other occasions, that you will come through this challenge, uh, but uh, it is important to have your real friends standing by you uh, at this time. I'm also pleased to see that in recent years, even as our uh, cooperation has uh, expanded, we have given a lot of attention to the cultural facets of our relationship. Uh, this is visible uh, in the grants that we have given to promote uh, Buddhist ties, in the support that we have given for heritage restoration of temples, in the construction of the Jaffna Cultural Center, and in the many exchanges that we uh, promote between our two countries. Uh, culture is one expression of people-to-people -people exchanges, uh, and we are today advancing many others, including uh, flights between Chennai and Jaffna, uh, which have resumed. Uh, we are looking at more seamless travel in other forms uh, between South India and uh, uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, and uh, for us, uh, as I said, uh, you know, Sri Lanka 
is part of our, is a very integral element, a salient element of our neighborhood first policy, of our saga policy. Uh, it is very much a, a part of our shared heritage uh, and history. So today I would like to thank all those involved in this effort, uh, which uh, I believe will bring us even closer together. Once again, High Commissioner, I thank you for the invitation to join you this afternoon.